Hey there, Snicker Snacks. Welcome uh, back to Vorpal Tales Presents Awesome Adventures. Uh, As always, I am your host, Jane's Freaking Out. Uh, Space Lord Pajamas. We heard Vorpal Tales. We are Vorpal Tales, and we play a wide assortment of games seven days a week that fall into two categories Awesome Adventures and Terrifying Tales. Be sure to check the calendar at VorpalTales.com to stay up to date with all of our shows. So, for those of you following along at home, tonight's awesome adventure is On the Trail of the Red, Red Widow finale. Ooh. Uh, using Modifius Entertainment's Octung Cthulhu. Check out all their other awesome systems that we play here at Vorpal Tales at modifius.net. Remember to follow Vorpal Tales on Twitch and visit our website to find the link to join our Discord. We are on most major social media outlets, including YouTube as Vorpal Tales. Uh, so remember to follow, subscribe, and hit that bell to get all the updates. Vorpal Tales is also on Drive Through RPG. Check out some of our Vorpal supplements that include characters, monsters, and scenarios made for many of the games that we play weekly. Most importantly, subscribe to our Patreon at patreon.com slash Tales. And let's introduce our intrepid adventurers, Jane, Harry, Patty, Silky, and Kitty Kimchi. How are you doing, awesome sauces? Tell us who you are and what you'll be playing tonight. Hello, tonight I will be playing uh, Shin Yi, your back alley doctor, not in quotes, um, she is a professional, <laughs> as much as this party does not like to admit that, um, yes. Hi, I'm Harry, I am playing Benji, the uh, commander who is uh, trying his best to stay alive and keep the party alive as well, despite seemingly their best efforts. Hey. Howdy, y'all. I am Patrick. You can find me on the internet at PattyChecks underscore. And tonight I am playing uh, Bo, the Grease Monkey. And because JT's not with us tonight, I guess that makes it me. Yep. Hello, guys. I am Selkie. You can find me all over the internet as the Rebel Selkie. Um, and tonight, for hopefully not the last time, I will be playing your nosy librarian, Tessa. Yes. Hi, everybody. I'm Kitty Kimchi. You can find me all over the internet at, yep, she's Blasian. And tonight, I'm playing Abby, your ruthless infiltrator snack connoisseur. You, you can always have the best snacks. <laughs> it, it's, it's therapy. <laughs> it's, it's this day's equivalent of therapy. Snack therapy. So yeah, exactly. This episode is brought to you by Whales Whiskey, made in Finland with real synthetic whales. For your inner whale, try their new official infused whales blubber blubber blubber. blubber Fuck. Blubber delicious it, blend. Right. Damn it. That was going to be funny. Anyway, uh, additionally, Vorpal Tales has some great sponsors who, would, who we would love to tell you about. First is QUEmpire.com, a small company making original dice and products for your favorite RPGs and card games. Dungeon Crate is the original RPG loot box, delivering tabletop gear like dice, minis, and terrain, plus original adventures to your castle doors each month. Become a member and get your crate today. Use code VorpalTalesDC at checkout to get $5 off a new subscription. All caps. All caps. That is right. All caps. Uh, next is Hitpoint Press, known for their various reference cards, but also for creating the Humblewood and Hecna campaign settings. Finally is Jim Hammer and Sons, an RPG supplement store that has everything from Decks of Wonder to Decks of Illusion to Dice. Visit VorpalTales.com, click on the affiliate link, and anything you purchase, a portion of it will benefit the show. And cool. So with the introduction out of the way, we can get to why everyone's here. Hi. Sure. Fuck yeah. Hello. Oh, pie. Yeah. What kind? Um, um, pumpkin. No. Yeah, I, I make Wait, him pumpkin. hold on. Shh. No. Patty, no. explain yourself. What? No pumpkin, 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 pumpkin pie is not good pie. Excuse you. I feel like it's you not. are saying that as a person who's never had good pumpkin pie, though, because yeah. pumpkin pie is phenomenal. However, sweet potato pie, if we're comparing squashes, is uh, is is the is the optimal pie. Mm. The the correct answer we were looking for is apple 
apple pie. It's good. Pie is yeah, good. I'm, I'm it's, this pumpkin pie, pie is fucking great. Um, for me, I, I'm going to have to go against the grind here and say uh, I'm partial to um, like banana cream pie, coconut oh, cream oh, pie. That's the... Oh no, you weren't here. For I like key lime one. pie. That's good. What? So, little little known fact. Key lime pie. Um, mm, delicious. Patty's kryptonite is actually bananas. Um, mm. Yes, bananas. like bringing a banana up in conversation will actively make that poor man gag. Don't do it. Okay. okay. Oh. Jane made Jane made brownies, but she did, but we were out of eggs, <laughs> so she uh, made them with bananas, and they're the weirdest things I've ever experienced you in my life. Monster. <laughs> It, it surprisingly worked like they exist as food but like they leave this weird oil on whatever they touch including your fingers and lips it's bizarre it's because uh, yeah it's a little weird oh, harry told me that he'd be sad what harry told me he'd be tired so it's not like, t- sad tired so it's like okay i'll do my girlfriend duty and make make sweet treats i will make a sweet treat for my boy it doesn't taste bad as that is what I do. It tastes bad if the, you're into the, bananas. The second best pie after apple, of course, is peanut butter pie. Yes. Yes. Pie. yes. Patty, I'll have to send you my recipe for peanut butter pie sometime. Oh, wow. <laughs> God, that sounds so rich. Oh, it's so, it is. Oh, well, yeah. You, you, yeah, like you only tiny, have, yeah, one little piece. Tiny slices, but it's so good. I've learned a lot. Uh, of let me the light chocolate syrup on top and put with cream. Mm. Mm. What is another pie that I like? Um, oh, uh, milk tea pies are pretty good. Uh, you soak like a specific tea in the cream that you make, and then you make a nice custard. Hmm. Katie, what kind of pie do you like? Cherry. Cherry pie. There yes, you go. cherry pie is good. Cherry is a good pie. Oh, blueberry crumble is also another good pie. Blueberry's good. I also like peach. Um, but I am always down for a key lime pie. That's that's good. Yep. Is that because you live in Florida? Maybe. <laughs> Just maybe. Cool. So uh, tonight we conclude our terrifying, awesome adventure with Akhtun Cthulhu, published by, by Modepius Entertainment. I don't know why I can't talk tonight. <clears throat> Last time, our mystical agents split up during their invasion of Algiers. And there's two recaps here. Uh, as they sought out the trail of the Red Widow, Tessa, Abby, and Bo took off towards the library and a rigged armored station wagon after having dropped off the Captain Chung Yi and Howie within the city to seek out a trace of the Vici officer who helped organize the escape of the Red Widow. The captain's crew came across the Nazi and VC soldiers, shelling the bay, and quickly dispatched them. After a very wet interrogation, they learned that an F- SS officer at the harbor was helping organize escapes. Meanwhile, at the library, Bo, Tessa, and Abby encountered some Nazis posing as Allied soldiers. They were rigging the library that Tessa was scouring for information on the occult to blow. Bo and Abby ruthlessly ended their Nazi shenanigans and met up with the rest of the crew. At the harbor, they saw the SS officer and his Nazi flunky setting up a boat with explosives while their their escape U-boat was at the far end of the harbor. Bo did what he did best and exploded everything. This left the SS officer within an inch of his life. He gave up the information that the Red Widow had fled by boat just just before the invasion of Algiers. The agents had but one choice: follow the widow through through their U-boat infested. Uh, I can't talk through the U-boat infested Mediterranean Sea. <clears throat> so, what would have happened last week? Um, Tessa was able to decipher from the books that they had been used before, and looked as if they had been pulled from a potential burning. More so, there were pages missing. With Ooh. her ex- with her expertise on the occult and the surrounding pages, Tessa was able to discern that the rituals cited might be a kind uh, might be a kind of ritual to bind an enti- entity on the material plane of existence. What that could mean for the Black Sun is unknown, as they are typically ones to bargain with foreign entities rather than binding them t- against their will. With Algiers secured by the Allies, the captain was able to procure a patrol craft of which the group would be able to set out in the Mediterranean Sea towards Sicily, as just before the invasion, a radio tech could track a large vessel leaving the harbor in that direction. 
After some rest and restocking, the agents head out into the sea on the trail of the Red Widow. However, they were soon set upon by creatures of the deep. Fighting them off as they could, their boat was torpedoed by a nearby U-boat. Survivors were taken aboard and thrown into a makeshift brig and a cabin, and later transferred to a larger warboat. There, SS Commander Hans Hansel gloated over them, and someone else was there in the brig with them. The one known no none other as the Red Widow themselves. Agents, what do you do? Remember you have three fortune in your pool and you're captured. So Oh, love that. Uh hmm. Do we still have all of our equipment or have they fleeced us of all all that good stuff? I mean, they're not I mean, they're evil Nazis, and um, despite how, you know, silly we'd like to all think that they are, um, they did happen to remove you of all of your your goods and toss them somewhere. Fuck! Okay, uh, where are we being kept? Uh, a brig. In the ship. brig, me hearties. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, is there an air vent anywhere? We're on a U-boat. Uh, you're actually on Like an air duct. You're on a ship. Oh, a ship. Okay. You were transferred, yes. Okay, I thought we were on a U, but I was like, don't open any vents. No, no, no. Yeah. I was just thinking, like, okay, Best so no booms. Me. Got it. <laughs> Screen door in a battleship. Oh, <laughs> um, uh, uh, yeah. So to set the scene, um, you're actually in a uh, pretty, uh, like, an actual brig with jail cells and everything. Um, some of you are kept together, uh, and you're kind of all split apart. And at the far one, um, it's one of those ones where, like, there's just bars there's not walls it's just walls of bars um and at the far one you can kind of see uh a tall figure they look tall uh sitting in a in a chair in a corner um wearing like a like a red blouse and red like slacks and has a a long overcoat that they're on and they also have like um one of those hats with like a veil on them or something like that it's very hard to see their face and there's uh, like, so <laughs> wait, does the red widow, the red widow. wear red red? Yeah, I said she was wearing red shirt. The widow's veil. That's what I want to do. I would like to uh use my little nail jewelry to screw open an air duct and crawl into it. Uh you actually don't have an air duct next to you. Um <laughs> You maybe have like Back a, in the hull of the ship. You wouldn't want too many. Yeah, you actually are up against. Uh, you're in the bowels of the ship, like kind of in the center of the ship, where um, you've just got like some long walls uh, down the down the center of the ship, and then there's just a few cells with bars in them, and then there's. Uh, you can see that you're actually being guarded by two Nazi officers. Um, they look a little weird in the face. Um, and there, there's an, the SS captains kind of looking at, at you all and sort of gloating over you. Oh, great. We, we love that. Um, hey captain. Kind of looks at you just like, <laughs> ah, captain. Here I heard about all of your wonderful exploits and how brilliant you were to take care of some of our soldiers back in Algiers, but now we can just see that you're just kind of a bumbling idiot. Now we really smoked the shit out of your boys. Yes, and we will smoke the shit out of you too. So uh, oh, that's cute. Yes. So enjoy. Um, we'll leave you to your fates here, and we will be arriving soon. And um, yes. So enjoy. And uh, you'll be dying soon. So good luck. Yeah. Fuck you too. <clears throat> America. And he leaves, and he just leaves with uh, two um, two soldiers that kind. Of, there's a door on one end, door on the other uh, that kind of leads to the rest of the ship, as far as you can tell. Um, I mean, in theory, don't we have them outnumbered? So can't we just like rush tackle? Well, them? we're in a we're behind bars. Yeah. Oh, and I'm assuming um, misogyny is real in the '40s, so they probably have us uh, femme presenting people separated from the male presenting. People. Oh yeah, definitely, because like you know, you're helpless, can't do anything. Ovaries. Yeah, I mean they they prevent you from doing any sort of like physical activities in any sort of way. So mm. yeah. pants and having jobs. So, uh, it took like all of my uh, 
my restraint to not say in front of the, the Nazi in case he like changed his mind. But um, why are they just killing us now? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, they probably want us for a ritual sacrifice. Oh, yeah, definitely. You yes. hear from oh, the corner. There. Nailed it. Um, You're the Red Widow? I've been called that. What are you in here for? Well, seems that um, Nazis aren't exactly the best partners to be having. Hmm. Yeah, no shit, bitch. I'm sorry, I'm out of context. Oh. You're out of character, Harry. Harry eating and talking to the red widow. It's part of the vibe. I'm doing it on purpose. <laughs> like a Brooklyn, like a true Brooklyn soldier, just eating a hoagie and being like, "Yeah, what's you in here for?" Oh my god. Uh, can I just point out how precisely on the head it is that um you wear red? Do you always wear red, or did it just like they just happen to catch you? You're also wearing morning clothes. You're wearing a veil, like a man. My guess is nobody did you guys subtlety or anything. My guess is because she feels ashamed of her pants. Yeah, take that thing off. Let's see what your face looks like. Well, hold on. Now, I mean. You know, maybe it's a religious thing or something. I don't know. But like, I just I, I don't care about that so much as the fact you're literally wearing red. Like, do you sometimes wear black? Do you not find that black would be better for like stealth missions? I wear a red. I must or even say, like I... camo. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like you kind of stand out like a sore thumb. I feel like you're preoccupation with my apparel belies your situation of being well dead. i'm stuck here in a, a nazi battleship in a brig um preparing to get ritually sacrificed so really your <laughs> wardrobe's the most interesting and only thing to talk about also to be fair, fair point. we're in the mediterranean like we probably got an hour at most before bombers descend from the sky and blast this fucking thing into oblivion so perhaps if they know where we're at but anyway um to answer your question it's simply what i wore the moniker sort of stuck oh so they did just catch you on a red day so what are like some of your other colors what what other colors you rocking like if if you could rebrand from red widow what would you what would you pick i like you Oh, well, thank you. Uh, I have to ask, are you a good guy or a bad guy? Because I'm not sure if I should like you back, but I'm kind of leaning towards liking you. But like, no, she's obviously evil. Those are terms. I mean, I'm not going to go with obviously. He is by more. Oh, do not let the sexy femme fatale lure you in. For now, we're operating off of the enemy of my enemy principle. Wait, it ain't a look. Hold on. that It ain't a looks thing. It's just like. Uh, this is the first super secret agent I've ever met in my life. We are Crazy. super secret agents. <laughs> no, 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 I ain't. I, I'm, I, I drive cars. That, that's, that's what I do. You know, I find it most interesting if you just let people talk. They make up things for you, and you don't have to answer any questions at all. Yeah. Fuck, she's cool. right. She's anyway. like one of them strong, silent types. Is there a guard anywhere in here? Yeah, there's two guards on either side. Are they paying attention to this conversation at all? They kind of... speak English? They kind of... No. They're, well, no. They kind of have a look of like they have no fucking clue what's going on because you're all speaking in English. Um, but the two guards are kind of leering towards the lady's side. I am going to... Ooh, like creepily? <laughs> I don't want to. See, well, yeah, they're creeps. But okay, uh, right. you kind of look at them. That, again, there's something really weird about their faces. You can't really like put a put Got big ass eyes. Weird are they? Are they fish slightly, looking? Slightly more punchable than most Nazi faces. Yeah. Well, I mean, mostly. Um, anybody who wants to like try to decipher like what they see, give me an observation check. Yeah. Sure. Um, observation but, oh. plus. Oh, observation oh, plus. I'm sorry. Uh, observation plus um, insight. Okay. Bo ain't seen shit. <laughs> <laughs> he 
He ain't exactly the most observant type. That's two successes. Two. Two. Okay. Um, you look and you notice and like you think you're like, yeah, it is kind of hot in here, but um they they look like they're sweating and uh they look like they're sweating, but then you're like, no, they're just kind of like oily and their eyes are a little larger than they should be. Um, oh, so they're in his mouth. Yeah, probably. Something along those lines. Fucking assholes. God yeah, so uh, Shin Yi will whisper over to... Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea! Uh, yeah, you said we're on a boat right now? You are on a boat. Just do not provoke the fishmen. Can I do my magic? Oh, shit. Which one? Oh, that's that? smart. That is the uh, the tempting the tempting pool where uh, they the sexy nymphs, sexy sh- uh, sexy satyrs. That's right, the sexy satyrs. I forgot. Get them close to us. Drown them in sex. No, they just drown. They drown. Um. Well, we need hold to get a key or something, right? Let me uh, mm. look at something here. I can get the key. Okay. Then I trust you to do that. Oh, that's not the right book. Can I? Um, is there a way for me to actually? Can I tell if someone has like the key to the cells? You're I'm not assuming c- it's the forties. It's like a master key. Uh, you assume one of them probably has a key on them. Yeah. This is gonna be a little difficult. Oh, okay, cool. All right. Um. Yeah, uh, Jingyi, you wanted to try to do your spell. Yeah. So. <laughs> Where is it? All right. I. I want to get these bitches turned AF. Oh, you know what? I should probably have my. No dice here. Here we go. Okay. Cool. Um. Go ahead. And, That's uh, a six and a two. A six and a two. Uh, you'd be rolling against uh, uh, coordination and your... Oh, wait. No, wait. Wrong one. Where is it? Yeah. Uh, resilience and coordination. Add those together. Do you get any successes? Yes. That's, that's, uh, that would be two successes. Two successes. Wow. Damn. Okay. Yeah, my coordination is a high stat for the sake of medicine. Yeah, that's uh cool. Um, so yeah, you. This is the sexy satyr one, right? Yep, this is the sexy satyr one. Pool of lip limpid bis. Yep. Bliss. Okay, so um. Okay. Um Okay. So, you create a pool of water in the center that uh lulls them towards it and they they're they've been told to guard you and they try to resist, but they fail. And um they move towards it uh kind of gurgling and burbling and they just immediately dunk their heads in and right could i choose like i i would have if i could choose i would have made the pool like in front of us yeah they're like right in the center um and you realize they dunk their heads in and um it almost, don't tell me they're don't tell me they're completely fine. It, it looks like they're enjoying it. Are they within arm's reach? Mm, good question. Uh I'm a big dude. I got big ass arms. Let's see. Give me give me a an agility. No. Yes, agility and uh let's see. 
a stealth. Yeah, I'm very good at us trying to reach them. Both of those. Yeah, anybody can Let's try to see. reach them if you want. Using the that's one success. Stealth. Okay, you don't quite get there, but you're like you're you're fumbling in the key, and you realize that there's a key on their thing, and then you, you kind of got it, not really. Uh, Kitty, you were said you were gonna try. Yes, two successes. Two successes. Okay, nice. Um, so Captain, you managed to like. You can't quite get them, but you manage to flick them in a manner um, that slides them along his belt. And then uh, Abby's able to just grab him and kind of yank him off his belt uh, as he's just sitting there enjoying the nice little fountain that uh, Jing Yi created. So I basically have this person in my hand, in my grip. You have the keys in your grip. You do not have the person oh. in your grip. <laughs> okay. Well, the keys are a priority for now. They will eventually... I mean, they will in theory drown via the thing, so... That doesn't look like it. Well, we can take care of them after we you know, get out. Well, I guess I unlock our cell. Okay. Uh, you unlock your cell. Um, they're sitting there almost gleefully like singing in, in the fountain. Um, it's really awkward. Playtime's over, boys. Yep, time to crack some fucking skulls. Yeah, I'm gonna crack their fucking skulls together. Like, you know, <laughs> in the movies or... <laughs> yes, uh, that, I mean, you can hit them hard, you can cut their ankles as usual. Um, and, uh, yeah, they're totally preoccupied so they're at your mercy without unwittingly and uh yeah you've easily dispatched them the fountain disappears and um yeah you're out of your cells what do you do that was fun i'm raiding the bodies for weapons yeah they're i'm assuming they're armed right they are armed yes they are perfect they are carrying a they have they actually have some very large cleavers uh, two of them. There are two revolvers on them, and uh, one of them had a shotgun slung over his back. Can I do a medical Not examination of their bodies? See, Not Samantha, like, unfortunately, Bo. I don't know if we have time for that. Just how non-human they are. Uh, they're 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 you can. The word comes to mind: hybrid, um, where they have like some very fishy elements, and you you kind of look in their necks and like, oh yeah, they have gills. Um, so yeah, of course they were able to, uh, survive the water, but, um, the, just the compulsion of the fountain compels you to stay in the water. So there was no way that they were coming out of it. Um, but yeah, they're like some weird cross, almost as if they're like growing into their fishy elements. Captain, I regret to inform you of this, but our enemy is not exactly human. They have gills. Okay, so then I'll just... They're unconscious, I'm assuming, right? Yeah. Or dead. I'll just shoot... Yeah, I'll just shoot them both. <laughs> well, if that still... If that works, then I'm not concerned. I mean, do you want to discharge a firearm in the middle of a... No, I'll just use the cleaver. Okay, fair enough. I'll just finish him off. Okay. Just... Knife seems to work. Knife does seem to work. Um, at this point, uh, the widow is kind of rattling uh, a cup on on the uh, on her door cells. On our cell door. Oh, yeah. Um, wrapping at my chamber. She probably just witnessed us do all of that shit. She absolutely did. Nice work. All right. Okay. Um, I feel like we should just shoot her now. Do you want to discharge a firearm? Make our presence known? Well, they need her, stuff? clearly. I mean, I also hate to say it, but I feel like we kind of need her, too. Tell me about your men. They're Wait, clearly why, a fascination. Why, why are we trying to kill? I mean, we're having this weird. I'm sorry, uh, widow. I'm not going to assign a color to you because, like you said, it was just the happenstance. Uh, we're sorry, widow. We're having this really awkward conversation in front of you of whether or not we're going to kill you. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to state I'm in the party for not. Just, you know, in case things take a turn we're in that kind of situation where you got a gun everyone's got a gun everyone's pointing at each other just don't point your gun at me later and then yes you know, unfortunately we happen to, to have a very trigger happy commander i'm just being pragmatic here 
Anyways, your men, they're not normal. Do well, tell. Please, because I'll not that. hesitate to cut your ovaries out. What the fuck? I don't mean to be rude. <laughs> Well, but it seems that you are an enjoyer of the occult and superstitious. You could let me out, but then I wouldn't exactly be free. And she offers up her uh, hands, which you can tell are bound, but there are like special runes kind of glowing around um, this like metal device that's, that her hands are wrapped up in. Tell me, are you a magus? Mm, I don't know what that means, but... A mage, a dabbler in the occult, sorcery, uh, so on and so forth. You might say something like that. Tell you what. All right. If one of you can get me out of the two cells that I'm in, I'll make it a little bit easier for you to escape. But I can tell you, I could also divulge the information of what exactly you're trailing here. It wasn't me. Or, I suppose, it was my experiment. But... Oh, how anyway. lovely. I don't like the idea of getting her out of those cells now. I know, you don't like anything, Captain. No, I think that she's going to pull some shit and disappear on us. Mm. What was what was the mission parameters originally out of character? What, what, what were we told to retrieve her or uh, find her? You just or had kill to like figure or... out what they were doing, basically, because you knew they were up to some occultist crap. Um, and basically stop the occultist crap and the widow themselves or the trail they were leaving as they escaped from Morocco was more or less what you knew to follow and just kind of figure out what happened at the end. So finding them was one thing, but trying to figure out what they were involved with is another. Okay. Okay. So we didn't get clear uh, directions on what to do with her. Got it. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> I mean, I feel like we should give her the chance to make the right choice of joining the winning side. That's just me, though. Well, she created something unspeakable and abominable for so long. No anything. matter who gets her, she's going to be a weapon. I can tell you this. Didn't do a thing. Just gave some men some information and just kind of watch what they did with it. So... If you let me go, I'll disappear. And I'll tell you what you need to do. Sure, what do we need to do? Mm-mm-mm. We need to let hold her go on, first. Hold on, hold on, well, no, she's got to tell us first. That's hold not on, how this works. Hold, well, I mean, it kind of is. I mean, He's not in the position to be making demands. Well, she kind of is because, like, you know, she could just accept her fate and die. And, you know, I accept yeah, my I, fate it, and die. It'll be bad for everyone. Let me just put it that way. Yeah, I'm exactly. Kidding. All right, so hold on, hold on, hold on. Be bad. A little Everyone bit of gonna start talking. So no, well, sometimes you gotta scratch someone else's back before they scratch your back. All right, so she's got two prisons, right? She's in a cell, and then her hands are chained. Why don't we get her out of the cell first? Have a civil conversation. Everyone on equal ground. We're all out of the jail cell. I feel like that's a good start. Well, two Americans are supposed to be all the oxen free and gung ho and. <laughs> I was not expecting this from you, my dear friend. Well, one of them is very much gung-ho. I don't like this. I don't like this lady. I have a feeling this will end badly, and I don't think we should... I think we should hesitate at least taking her out of the second of her two. Well, that's just what I said. Scratch her back a little bit, let her out of the jail cell so she's not a caged animal, and then, you know... If we check out her intel, she leads us through the ship a little bit, maybe. And then when we get to the end, poof, Ali, you know, she gets to right. the jail, second jail at a free card. Can I roll a cult or the equivalent of it to on the runes on her bindings? Would I be able to tell what these things are? You instantly know what they are because you were researching them earlier. Uh, these are binding runes. Oh, that's food. She's that's a, she okay. is a bound entity. <laughs> Which seems really weird. So and she and is... you, Tessa, actually realize you're not dealing with somebody who's normal. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm in support of letting her out just so. Because she's in handcuffs. There's not a lot of stuff you can do in handcuffs. 
Madam, have you not been paying attention to the things that have been going on around us for the past six weeks? There's a lot people can do with or without hands. I am aware you that she created is. an entire yeah. lake yeah, yeah, out of yeah, nothing like and had work. people drown Did themselves. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I am aware that. Uh. I'm aware that she is a maggot, however, she seems incapable of casting them. Let me just say this. I could make you let me out of this cell, and I'm not. I'm just sim simply asking you. You'll get out of the cell. You need to get you need to get these bindings off me, and I need to leave, or else things get very dark for you. You don't get to have the bindings off. We will let you out and you may work with us, but you do not get to have those bindings off, madam. If they have a push unless, and pull. Unless you can stop speaking in tongues and tell us exactly what we are dealing with, with you and whatever is going on upstairs, that is as far as our parlay goes. Fair enough. Let me out of the cell. Tell us first Easy when you may come out. Well, no, hold on. That, we're making the deal. Let her out the cell. Bo, I'd rather nowhere anyway. Bo, she doesn't need to tell us how to get out. She just needs to tell us what we're dealing with. Once we get her out of the cell, then extra she, information becomes necessary. She may get out once she tells us what she is and what we are dealing with on this boat. I like that idea. <clears throat> on my honor as a librarian. <laughs> on your honor as a librarian. Um... Is that much honor? Roll yeah, a I roll a pers like roll a persuasion oh. and will. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. That was a one and a four. Oh, cool. All right. Um, so she realizes that this is pretty much a stalemate and uh being coy isn't really getting anywhere and you're probably soon to be discovered so she divulges the information that she's a scientist who thought it might be interesting to tell a particular nazi scientist in black sun uh warlock named uh where did his name go it was literally just right here. Also, Harry chose violence. Harry chose violence. Okay. We'll deal with that in a second. Someone paid for me to choose violence. Oh. You know someone paid for you to choose violence. Oh, there it is. Um, so they came and made an association with a Dr. Hellman's Strucker, who themselves was an occultist and uh, was looking into ways to utilize uh, dark magics to control the Mediterranean. And the Red Widow just happened to sort of lean him in a direction of something they knew that he might use. Um, and he's on an island where this boat is go currently headed towards um and uh um they plan to sacrifice the widow themselves which would be pretty bad um for all accounts madam you could have used this incredible knowledge and power of yours to help like actual people and you chose the nazis yeah, it seemed interesting seemed interesting huh anyway well we can't let him we can't let them have her and we can't let them kill her do they have to kill her ritually yes she does mention that if they they uh drop her into the ritual uh It'll be bad for everyone, but that's really all she says. And that, Should we kill her? Sorry, Kitty, what were you going to say? Should we just kill her? I mean... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. 
I mean, the thing about rituals like this is that you don't necessarily have to be alive for them to be completed. Okay, we drop so, her overboard. I oh. mean, considering we are dealing with fish people, I don't even think dropping her overboard is the safest idea either. I think we need to get ourselves and her off of this boat immediately. Or if, I mean, I we don't even know how many people are on this boat. So if we can take it over. I but can I tell think you, we need to get out of here. Where this boat's going, you'll need to go too. Because Strucker is not a rational individual with with None or without me he will conduct his ritual and it will cause problems for your allied soldiers I and for everyone in the region i'm sure he has a contingency plan no no, no. Just... you don't understand the man's insane and he thinks what he's doing no matter what he's doing is correct and um your little invasion will stop right here you knew the man was insane, and yet you still chose to work with him. Science. Your scientific mind is not all that smart. I hate to break it to you. So what? So so the uh, the people they kill, the people they do kill, is that that's part of your science? Yeah, your research objective is not. <clears throat> what if? a very very stupid plan um what Isn't if it? i'm really tempted oh. really tempted to just lose the bet right now Isn't no don't do it do? don't do it there's three days left i so everything I'm sure that there's enough art artillery on this boat to be able to get us at least three Florida bangs. <laughs> this is a battleship. Yeah. Yeah. I at least more three. than three. <laughs> I I'm being conservative in ways that you Americans cannot be. Um, so what if what if we give them what they presume to be the Red Widow? Oh. oh, 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 uh, come again. Um, <sighs> idea. Have you ever read Dick Tracy? No. It's a wonderful little novella. I grew up reading them in my local library, and that is actually what got me into the occult to begin with, believe it or not. Okay. Now, one of the most famous cases from the Dick Tracy novels was called The Double Switch. Meaning, when they were trading information for a specific person, they did not trade that specific person. They traded Dick. And in this case, I'm the Dick. Uh, whatever, so you're choosing to sacrifice Whatever yourself. weird sex things you're into, I don't think it's going to help the situation. No, no, no. I'm saying, I'm saying take your clothes off. <laughs> like you can't really see your face but sh you yeah. tell she just frowns and it's like you're okay <laughs> <clears throat> you so i the rest of you are much more capable at this than i am abby can go for the ankles we have florida bangs and we have people who shoot guns and think it later at this point i am just a librarian who can move things if we can store you in a relatively safe place with the bindings on and make them think that they have the Red Widow, the rest of my compatriots can run in and give them the old college try. Mm. Counter offer. Take all the bindings off. I'll make one of you look like me and I'll walk away. Counter, counter offer. You work with us because you're right now bound and you can't really do anything. And if you think that I won't let the Nazis take you, you really underestimate how fucking spiteful I am. Yeah, I am not going to let the Nazis take As far as I'm concerned, you're already uh, collaborating with Nazis. I don't give a fuck what happens to you. I mean, to be fair, it is clear that she has collaborated with them, and so... Counter, counter, counter offer. You figure it the fuck out, or we're going to have a... Uh... Fucking Florida extra large big bang, and I will take all of us out in this bitch because I'm getting 
incredibly agitated with you. <laughs> okay. okay let's velvet. not. Let's not. Let's not resort to that. Um, you hear a there's... rapping on one of the doors in something in German. Um, I think Howie was I the only do you... a bit. I know enough to like. They're asking, like, something. "Hey, you okay in there?" Were you, we... Oh, look, your friends. They're concerned. Yavol, all is good. Mm. All right. Well, shift change in like a few minutes. So. Yeah. I don't know any more German guys. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so fine. Did you let her out of the cell? I don't remember. No, she's out of the. No. Not, is she not out of the cell yet? I thought she wasn't out of the cell. Yet. Okay. I she was. Um, okay. she'll be like, "Fine, I'll help you," but if they don't, you can't let them have me. Yeah, that's not part of the plan. But well, it comes down to you or us. If they exchange me. For this ritual, um, your attack on the Mediterranean Sea anywhere will be halted instantly. We don't have a choice. We're going to have to take her bindings off. I'd rather deal with the small problem that is her later than the big problem that is the Nazis now, if I'm going to be completely honest. You're right. She, I mean, I don't think her later is a small problem, but I think you are right that just order of operations here. All right. Let's 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 do this then. We go we're going not taking beach. those bindings off, her, but we're letting her out. So, letting her out and taking the bindings off, or are you just letting her out? Just letting her out of the cell. Okay. She's out. <clears throat> what do you do? All right. So I suppose lead the way if you'd like. Mm. I'm a scientist, not a boatswain. Then I suppose that's up to me. What, you want me to find us a lifeboat? Again, you probably need to go where they're going because whether I'm there or not... What's happening is going to happen, and you need to stop it. Can you please stop Shh. being so vague about everything? Yes, we know we're going to be ritually sacrificed. Yes, whatever gets released from the ritual of sacrifice will probably kill everyone and everything. I don't know if you know this, but you're making just a really good case for us to literally just shoot you and dump your body overboard. Like, um, you're, you keep, every time you open your mouth, like, yeah, we need to go there to stop it, but like clearly going there with you makes the situation 50 times worse. And you're which, annoying all of the Americans. Which is why I offered, let me go, and I'll go. And then you can deal with it without me. We're on a lesser scale of ter uh, stakes. Honestly? If you ever pop up again and get involved in shit like this, I'll hunt you down. Especially Fair. with the Nazis. That is a promise. Fair. And these people know I'll fucking do it. Fair. Oh, that is an understatement, good sir. That is an understatement. I'm all for getting her the fuck out of here. Do you unbind her? I'm not going to be the one to do it. I'll do it. Okay. So, Tessa, just a quick occultist roll to make sure that you don't summon something dark and evil from her bindings it, it, i mean it's, it's absolutely <laughs> possible <laughs> don't roll a 20 don't roll the 20 don't roll a 20 a task that seems simple enough on its face but really isn't right i got two successes two successes excellent um you see that the runes fade the metal sort of shrivels and rust and turns to dust and she rubs her wrist and she's just like well thank you about the whole dick switch, um, did you want me to um, help with that plan, or should I just go now? I'm uh, sure that you would you help with that plan. Use your clothes, yeah. But um, which one of you wants to be the imposter? 
I'll do it. Okay. Are you sure? I thought you couldn't lie to save your life. Just kind of waves her hand, and Tessa, you instantly look like her. It would bind you. this wear off. But you realize that, like, your hands aren't bound. It's just all for show. All right. Well, if that's that, I'll be going now. Bye. Bye. Don't cause any more trouble. No, I just cause it for your grandson. And kind of walks out, walks towards one of the doors, opens it. And you see it's not a Nazi boat on the other side. It's like an office building. And she goes through, shuts the door, and is gone. Should have let me shoot her. Isn't that, you know, against your American ethics or something? I'm a commando. That's not how that works. Americans don't commit war crimes. <laughs> Does it look like I know <laughs> or care how things look slash are? So, Tessa, yeah. you actually realize that you're emanating a magical aura of some sort. Um, you look almost exactly like her. It's basically just you sort of transfigured in to look like her in, in clothes and like a sort of glamour thing. And then you do have your, your, your hands bound. So, um, yeah. What do you do since now you look like them? Uh, well, if this is going to work, everyone's going to, I mean, we don't have to lock back up, but we're going to have to hide these fucking yokels and everyone's going to have to go back into their their cages. How deep is that pool of lust or whatever? Is it still there? It's, it's gone. probably gone by now. Shit. Is there anywhere we can hide these fuckers? Uh, I'll say there's well, a... There's hide a them under your bed. Trunk the thing, or a bed or yeah, or something, a bunk. It's not going to matter. If they get here and we're down one person, which we are now, and there's two guards missing, they're going to know something's up immediately. You realize... Put one in the bed. You, you kind of realize at this point that your capture and part in this to the Nazis is just insignificant. Maybe they counted you. You have no idea. Um, Still, it's safe to assume our cover is blown. Keep Why didn't up. you bring this up when we were deciding <laughs> what we were going to do? Ooh, because I didn't know we would be happen. magically transforming to look like somebody else. I figured we'd fight our way out of here. Oh, thank you, Captain. Our wonderful, brilliant genius strategist. Well, I'm sorry. I took into account the normal material conditions we're dealing with. Not some... The, not the bizarre, fucked up world we've walked straight into in which people change faces semi-regularly. Just Hi. tuck one of them into the bed, and if they question it any further, we will take care of it then, Commander, Captain, I Lieutenant, suppose you're Lieutenant. Right. And it's Lieutenant and Lieutenant are the same rank. It's just, you're British, so you'd say Lieutenant. I would say Lieutenant. Mm, cool. So what's your plan? Uh, pretend nothing happened. Let's stash those corpses. The other. <laughs> Soon you'll be Dash one of the corpses the and Tessa's um, old cell. Hide the blank, throw a blanket over it. Hopefully, they're roughly the same size and shape as a uh, a Scottish woman. <laughs> cool. Uh, so you go into what was the widow's cell. Um, everybody go back, goes back into their respective cells, and within a few more minutes, the guard change comes, um, and you can you see them kind of look around. Um, and they poke, they poke and threaten you. Uh, like, where are the guards? Um, does anybody have a response? They had to. They... Take them. Yeah, the bathroom. What guards? Oh, seasick. Oh, uh, they they left. It's not our fault that you hire incompetent soldiers. Uh, who has the Wait best? Wait a minute, persuasion? they're fish people. Do fish people get seasick? I don't know, Commander. Let's hope they don't think too much about what we said. <laughs> Somebody roll a persuasion real quick. The best persuasion. Oh, God. Okay. That's a, that's a three, so that's under my thing. So oh, okay, cool. All right. Um, It doesn't, like, they don't care about it much after that because, like, you know, you're in your cells. They're gone. They they don't really think about 
that you got out and somehow got back in your cells that doesn't make any goddamn sense to them. So they just assume that the the other guards went off for lunch or did get seasick or food poisoning or something to that degree. And um, within like an hour's time or so, um, you realize that the the light the few the little bit of like actual sort of sunlight that filters down through some grates and stuff um, in here. Uh, starts to disappear and you can hear the sounds of the ship sort of reverberate off something. Uh, it almost feels like it's pulling into some sort of port because it like slows down. The engines start to rumble really bad. Um, and then suddenly it, it, everything's all kind of quiet and the ship's just sort of sitting there for a moment. <coughs> um, within a bit of time, uh, that uh ss officer comes back colonel um where did he go colonel uh wilhelm von wilhelm comes in and is uh kind of eyeing you all kind of looks at the widow and just laughs and he's like oh you will uh be a great sacrifice to whatever this doctor thinks is going on but whatever it will be we will surely secure the mediterranean for the third reich and the rest of you, well, you're just, how should I say it, extra? Anyway, um, guards, if you will take them. Uh, everyone, put your hands out so we can bind you and um, lead you forward to your doom. Be interesting. Oh, so you're just going like, to kill us now? No, 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 no. No, oh, well, I was about to say, what was it? Why did you even make us wait last right. time? Right, where's the fun in this one? Smart, we might keep you and turn you into something. Don't know. I'm not sure, quite sure what the doctor does, what he does. Anyway, um, yes, uh, bind them and uh, march. Uh, if I may interject, if I am to go out in such a uh. Oh, wonderful way. I would rather my audience not be the peasants of the allies. At least do me this one kindness for my sacrifice. Kind of looks at you weird um, and just kind of like walks over, looks at this thing. I think that's the most that you've said ever. To me, at least. You're always talking that's to Strucker. That's how important this is to me. What? You don't want to be led with the rabble? Is that what it is? I'd rather not be associated with the allies upon my demise. Oh, I didn't... Hmm. Finally come around, have you to our ways? Well, then... Fine. All right. Leave them to their cells to rot. We'll blow the ship up or something anyways. Anyway. All right, then. Well... Allies, <laughs> you will die. Uh, take her away. <clears throat> so Tessa, a uh, couple of the like fishman guards um, come in, take you, grab you, sort of escort you out, and uh, Wilhelm just laughs at the rest of you, uh, cackles almost as he exits the brig. Um, yeah, so far it looks like your um, your subterfuge is holding. Thank God. <laughs> oh my, I dislike this immensely. Well, what do they have to bind us? Do they have like metal? They were going to bind you with just like handcuffs or rope or something, but they, they didn't okay. even bother because they weren't going to take you. So you're just kind of stuck here in the stuck here in the cells now. I well, we may still have, have the keys, so... I mean, yeah, I may have effectively split the party, but at least I split the party <laughs> and gave you guys a shit ton of fucking ammunition to work with. There you so go. Please. Literally. Like, literally. The <laughs> fuck ton of ammo. Cool. So, um, Tessa, we'll deal with you a little bit later, um, mm -hmm. because telling you where you go kind of reveals some things that we don't want to reveal just yet. So the rest of you, um, what do you do? As they really did just kind of leave you alone. Like that now there's nobody else in here with us? And there's nobody birds. else in here. As far as you know, there's probably nobody else on the ship. They're real fucking excited to make me real fucking dead. Okay, so uh, let's go. We, we, and we, we kept, we kept the key, problems. right? 
I yes, yeah, we, we still have the key. Who's okay. <laughs> supposed to keep the key? No, I definitely we, kept we that. We still shit. have the key. Okay. We still have all of the. Um... Yeah, just because have... nobody verbally said it, I just want to make sure. <laughs> right. No, you still have the key. Still have your weapons. Um. Okay. So, yeah. What do you do? Put one foot in front of the other. <laughs> um. You you exit the cells. Um. You exit the brig. Uh, and yeah, it really does sound like there's nobody on here. Um, you hear some voices far down the the causeway that, uh, or the corridor that you're in, and you're just immediately looking for what? I'm looking for Samantha. Oh, right. All of your weaponry. Um, good point. Uh... Hmm. Where would all of your stuff be? Are they going to do the classic? It's right there in the next room or. Yeah, I think for simplicity's sake, we'll say it's in the next room. So you uh, easily reacquire all of your stuff that you had. Minus maybe a few grenades here and there. Oh, my That's beautiful MG42. Just, <laughs> just want to make sure I saw Samantha. Yeah. <clears throat> For whatever reason, the brig is next to the armory. Poor choice of ship build, but uh, yeah. <laughs> to be fair, given the state of the Kriegsmarine, it would not surprise me if they actually did that. <laughs> Their ships fucking sucked. Cool. So, um, you're in, still in the bowels of the ship. Have all of your stuff. Um, what do you do? Uh, let's start causing problems. Throw them off their game. Kill everyone we can while not getting killed. Okay. Um. So you're in the. Court. Are there any events we can get ourselves into, or at least? <laughs> Jane just really wants to Metal Gear Among Solid this. this. Okay. <laughs> um. Yes, Jing Yi. There are some like internal vents. Uh. There's even those like air. Um vent things like you know the big uh big tubes that uh go to the top of the the deck um you manage to sort of find one of the the air shafts um what, what did you want to do well well in the air shafts i want to see where if i can find central command mm. okay so um you kind of figure out where the front of the boat is where the back of the boat is um so you follow one of those airships, get up to the deck uh, through the big hole and kind of up, kind of poke your head out and look around. And um, it's just a big, long battleship. Uh, there's guns in the front. There's one gun in the back. And then there's just the uh, the bridge tower is in the middle. And, you know, that's central command for all intents and purposes. Um, all right. Yeah. So I'd like to relay this information to my colleagues. Okay. So you go back down, you tell them, you know, kind of where that takes you um, and kind of the, the sort of layout of the ship. Uh, and you realize just from when you're crawling around the brig and the armory is just kind of um, there's you're, you're just on the bottom uh, level and the brig would actually be above you. So yes, this is our situation. Uh, Captain Bo, I don't think you two could fit in here. However, my dear colleague, Abby, you should be able to join me in the brig, causing some chaos. It's fine. Do you still have any of those gas grenades? That could be useful. I do. Wonderful. Oh, one other point I forgot to tell you. Uh, when you were looking around the boat, you actually realized that the boat, um, if anybody has seen Raiders of the Lost Ark, when that U-boat pulls into sort of the U-boat uh, marina that's in a cave, that's that's what you're in. You're now, in geez. You're in some sort of like protected harbor in a cave. Hmm. All right. Well, (laughs) 
So what you do? Actually, let's do this. I'll let you think about it. We'll do, take a quick break. You guys can think about things, and then we'll come back. How's that? Okay. Alrighty. All right. Cool. So we'll be back probably in ten minutes, or until they've uh, formulated a plan. So we'll be back in a few.
and we're back um hey uh so yeah um tessa currently being marched off with na nazis uh Bo, the captain jing yi and abby are on the ship still trying to figure out a way to cause some violence um harry we did get violence expended so eventually you're just gonna have to like choose it but i'll let you choose i it. will when, when appropriate when you feel the moment takes you so i will i will um what is your plan currently uh abby and i are going to go um you need the ship to stay on course though so. abby yeah we're, we're gonna go attack the uh the bridge. Okay. Maybe not too hard because the ship needs to stay on course. We're trying well, to gas. The ship's not We're moving, uh, Harry. It's, oh, uh, it's docked. Oh, yeah. I'm dumb. I'm an idiot. It is docked. Yes. So, um, cool. Uh, so, Abby and Jing Yi, uh, you find your way up through the air ducts into the bridge. Um, and there's only one or two captain's left there's only two like uh helmsman or something like that just sort of uh checking some charts cleaning up the bridge uh stowing away papers they're not really doing much what do you do abby Pito, do you have any more of those gas bombs i surely do <laughs> practically the not the ones that Kill them, just the smoke bomb, so then we can go in, stab some ankles, karate chop some men to the floor, so on and so forth. While she's yeah. talking, I chuck a sleepy bomb. <laughs> Don't even wait. Cool. <laughs> um, what did ankles ever do to you? You um, chuck that I'm bomb. I'm very short. And it just, poof, the entire bridge. Um, yeah, and you hear within a few moments just thud as these two guys drop to the uh, the floor. Well, that was efficient. Uh... What you do? The bridge is yours. After All you right. like crack open a door real quick to let the smoke out. Are there any papers, you know, like files of information, like what they're going to be doing and all of that? You are on the bridge, so you have charts. Oh, did I find the wrong room for what I wanted? What did you want? I wanted their plans. That would, well, that, maybe that would be on the bridge. I don't know. No, you don't, you quickly go through and like, it's, it's a ship. It's a bridge. Uh, you quickly find charts. Um, you actually find like the charted pathway through the sea to where this island is, which just seems to be out in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea. So you have that information. So you know where you're all, you are. Um, which oh, we're on the bridge. Can I radio Allied enforcements? There you go. Um, Hello, audience. Despite being sleep deprived for like two months now, I can think. Uh, just to see if you can do it. Roll coordination and tactics to see if okay. you can quickly. And Abby, I'll let you help her if you want to, if you are good at that for uh, coordination and tactics to kind of give the allies the directions, like the, the coordinates of where you, you so actually are. Jane rolled hella good. I rolled a 12 and a 2. Okay, is, is that within? Okay, so you rolled a two, so roll one success. I got a three. Oh wow! Okay, cool. Um, between me. the both I of you, my, uh, my headphone ever so rudely ripped out of my oh. ear. Oh, Harry, you're a bastard. Ah, um, cool. uh, yes, and my camera also made a bastard as well. Hello, yes, we are professionals here. So the between the two of you, you're you get on the the Allied radio channels and you get someone you have no idea they're just they're somewhere in north africa um you're not even sure who you're talking to um and you just start telling them like coordinates you're at this location 
uh, Nazi secret base, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and you need support. Um, so, yeah, perhaps you'll get air support at a mon monumentous time. Um, That's hot. Cool. So, while you're on the bridge, uh, Bo and Captain, what are you two doing? Okay, uh, Harry, you've been asked, what are you doing? <laughs> Me getting food. <laughs> oh. Ugh. Sorry. Dinner hard. Fix, fix the headphones so they're not like... Here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Hi, we're professionals. <laughs> we know what we're doing. We're totally not in the middle of midterms week and thus completely a mess. Well, here you go. Yeah, Dino. Vorpal Tales. Yeah. We support nothing but the most professional of streamers. Right. Um, cool. So... Bo. Yes. Captain. Oh, Bo. I I defer to my captain. Oh, my uh, captain, my captain. Captain. I am on a I'm in a strange situation. I defer to the man with experience. All right. Well, the good news is they don't know we're here yet. No. And nobody knows what's going on. You know, you're on a boat in a har in a secret harbor, possibly in a cave. You're not sure. Um, from Jing Yi's description, and uh, they're up on the bridge right now. So, what's your plan? I'm assuming they're gonna radio for help. I mean, the radios on these fucking things are crazy. So, yeah, I, you actually have no idea probably... what they're going to do. Oh, I thought <laughs> they were gonna go to the bridge, right? They, they are. They are you don't know radio. what they're gonna do on the bridge. So, well, they're not idiots. Right, right. <laughs> so, what did the two of you want to do? Our best bet is, well, we have the element of surprise. Um, my hope is that we'll run into some people with actual weapons, kill them, take their weapons, and you actually the have all your room stuff. by room. Yeah, we, no, we found oh, we yeah, oh, yeah, stuff. we do have all our stuff. I'm going to strap the MG42 to my back and then use the Tommy gun, because the MG42 would be way too big for those kinds of quarters. Okay, um, cool. Okay, follow me. Let's get the fuck out of here. I'm going to go to the bulkhead and start clearing rooms. Uh, you realize that as you're moving through, there's not a lot of people on here. It's almost like there's been an, it, it doesn't seem like it, there, it's not a big, it's not a huge boat. Um, just big enough to sort of have a smaller crew. Um, doesn't seem like it was crewed all that heavily. Um, so you only come across every once in a while, like the rando guard. Um, if you want to make it up to the deck, you can, you can go to engineering, you can go to one of the guns. What, what direction did you want to head in? So once we get up on the deck, I'm going to want to just take a look around and see if we have any, if we can like see a ritual site or anything like that. So, um, you get up to the deck and like I said, if you've seen Raiders of the Lost Ark, it's basically like a hidden, um, harbor, uh, and this boat has pulled in. Uh, there's some large, uh, like steel doors that are cracked open at the moment. Um, so there's kind of a cool breeze coming through. It almost seems like it's almost getting to that, like twilight hour. And, um, you're on a Nazi warship in a hidden Harbor. And you can see there's just a bunch of people on this, um, hidden Harbor kind of moving things around, taking care of, uh, you know, duties, but you don't see, um, uh, Tessa or the SS officer, they seem to, they're, they're not anywhere within your, your site. And you can actually like cross over to both sides of the, the deck. And you realize that you're, you're just kind of in this Harbor hidden dock. I should probably say. No ritual site. As far as you can tell now, Harry has lost. This thing. Okay, we're better. We're there back. you go. Sorry, our roommate decided to uh, begin to sing, uh, so I had to close the door. Oh, <laughs> cool. All right. So, um, yeah, you're in a hidden harbor. Bunch of uh, uh, Germans just kind of doing their duties to prep the ship, repair it, um, stock it. That's about it. Um, no signs of a ritual of site. Guns are we dealing with on this thing? Um, there. I mean, I don't know what caliber or what size. Well, here, let me ask this guns. question: Are we on a destroyer? 
a uh, a battleship. Well, not a battleship because that would just be probably so like massive. destroy your frigate size. So you got yeah, like, okay a few guns in the front, one in the back. Um, smaller smaller vessel. Okay, so these deck guns are still like pretty sizable, probably two hundred millimeters. So these are big. I'm gonna be like a uh, bow. You think we could uh, deliver these Germans a small, te a small Florida bang with this thing? I'm gonna gesture to this shell that is like roughly three feet tall. <laughs> the, the artillery shell or whatever. Yeah, yeah, there just happens to be one there on the deck next to you as you're you're kind of hiding behind some crates or whatever. You should introduce him to Samantha's older sister, Bertha, said the voice in the wind. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I'll just need your help to, to crack this bad boy open uh, so we can get to what's on the inside. Oh, I'd meant we uh, were going to use the deck guns on them. Oh! I mean, sure. We don't got to crack these bad boys <laughs> open. We can just... I've already got tinnitus, so like, you know, it, it's whatever. So, so I feel like it's gonna it's gonna echo something mighty awful in here. Um, yeah, yeah, that's true. Should be interesting. Wait, are they? Wait, no, no, no. This is a this, this is like a destroyer slash frigate sized vehicle. So like, what are? I'm assuming it have like 20 millimeter cannon anti air guns on it. You're the only uh, one that that matters to. <laughs> the Germans would have the flak veerling, the four barreled uh, auto loading 20 millimeter cannons that were fucking vicious. Um, let's hop on one of those. Okay. Um, Teach him a thing or two about rapid fire. So, uh, oh, I remembered. He dropped the gun. Yeah, uh, um, Abby and Jung Yi, you can actually see like the captain and Bo running over to one of these guns from your your spot on the bridge. Um, anything else that you're doing up there? Now that you've radioed. Uh. Are you interested in finding where our colleague went? Yes. Okay. Um, do you head down to meet the captain and Bo, or do you just kind of leave them to their own explosive devices and head off on your own? Yeah, I'm going to leave them okay. on their own. <laughs> All right. So you make I your way down. Faith in them. Between the both of you, uh, roll me a stealth check. Uh, stealth and uh, agility. Okay, let's see. Jingyi and uh, uh, Abby, I should say. Oh, okay. Oh, stealth. Um, oh, successes. So how many successes? Two. Wow, you guys are getting so many successes. Cool. Um, so yeah, uh, the two of you managed to get off the deck, um, onto the uh, the harbor, and you just make your way. Uh, through where you think you need to go which is opposite the big ocean doors um, you're just kind of following where soldiers seem to be going as if they're leaving the docks so you go af up after them Owen uh, Smith uh, what kind of gun were you actually going after? Uh, 20 millimeter flat cannon I dropped a pick in the discord it's a quad barreled auto cannon that essentially just basically 50 cal machine gun, but the bullets are twice as big and also explode. Holy shit. Okay. And um, then just happens planes, to be a history student inside. Very good at killing uh, vehicles, too. <laughs> okay, cool. So um, you find one that uh, is at the very front. I can't think of what the front of a boat's called. Um, the bow. Isn't the bow in the back? That would be the stern. That's the stern. Okay, so you go to the, the bow of the ship, and there's one of these flat cannons there. Um, and, uh, yeah. Uh, are you aiming at anything particular? Or are you just doing mass hysteria I'm just gonna, with bullets? I'm just, yeah, I'm just going to try to mow down anything that's moving. Okay. I'm looking for any fuel or another vehicle or arms or munitions. Yeah, you want to be the works. gunner on this? I can help you load. Yeah, that'll do a chain reaction. Okay. Um, not hard. Um, you actually see where the, the fuel lines are for the ship. Um, you can see that the Germans are actually trying to get the ship fueled and kind of bring the lines over. Um, you see the tanks and everything. You crank that sucker around all the way. Like, you, you have to do the little crank to move it back. 
and mm-hmm. um, you just start yep. unloading back that way, and it's just blazing electric molten lead death. Um, <laughs> as it doesn't take too many shots to go into that ga- that large gas tank, and it just explodes and just rumbles across the entire sort of enclosure here. Um, it starts a fire. Bodies are thrown everywhere. That immediately starts a blaze, which then goes into the ship. Um, you cut it around and just sort of like lay the deck out with uh with uh fi- with uh um bullets that just explosions everything. They have no fucking idea what's what's happening. So <clears throat> to Tess Tessa, you've been escorted off the boat through the secret harbor towards the exit. Um, and you're walking up this mountain pathway, escorted by the SS officer Wilhelm and some uh, uh, hybrid fish Nazi Germans. Um, and as you're being escorted, like Wilhelm's just chuckling to himself about how like this, he's so happy that he's gonna blow things up and cause havoc for the Allies because he hates them so much. Um, and as you're walking out of there there's it's you're kind of going through this canyon there's a lot of like old coral and sort of like ocean themes like almost like this island was raised recently um it's all still very wet um and uh you notice kind of like along the ridge of this canyon that you're walking through uh there's not there, there's actual fishmen just up on the top sort of armed with spears guns um kind of eyeing you and they can't help but be giddy themselves because they've been promised this day uh to, for a, uh, a great sacrifice um you're observing all this through time um as you're passing through this uh canyon when suddenly you hear a massive explosion behind you oops <laughs> does um anyone else react to this massive explosion yeah or... everybody pauses for a moment kind of looks back and just has this look of like what the fuck uh can i use my fancy schwanky abilities um including my coordination to uh am, am i being held by anyone no, because they think that you're you're ultimately magically bound, so nobody's actually like they're around you, uh, they're escorting you, but nobody's actually holding on to you. And how many are around me other than uh There's six of eagles? those uh hybrid soldiers along with Wilhelm and himself. Okay. Um can I use my fancy dancy new spell uh Ooh. to try to go for somebody's gun sure okay and for those of you who are watching at home my fancy dancy new spell from reading the book is telepathy Ooh. telekinesis yes. actually telekinesis to be exact Ooh. yeah so let me pull it up to see how it reads okay how do i do uh, so yeah, you'd roll uh, coordination and resilience um, to see how many successes you get. You'd take three stress, and then depending on how good you rolled, uh... one of the difficulties. Yep. Okay. You said coordination and resilience. Resilience. Ooh. Sean. Yes. Sean. What'd you roll? Sean. Did you, what'd you roll? That was two ones. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> cool. Uh so yeah. Did those explode? <laughs> yeah, that I mean that's four successes. Uh you easily got <gasps> one of the guns, like he's one of the sidearms in your hand. Uh nobody notices at this moment because they're all sort of taken aback. Uh, by the explosion that happened, uh, what do you do with that gun? Uh, I'm gonna shoot Wilhelm. Oh, gonna shoot Wilhelm. All right, cool. Um, 
go ahead. Get his uh, ass. The oh, I had to change. Uh, <laughs> just roll. Don't roll a twenty, which apparently you're not good at. I listen. I accidentally these are these are very specifically my two 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 d twenty dice that I use for these games. I accidentally used it in my D and D campaign like a week ago, mm -hmm. and I was rolling roll rolling horrifically. Oh wow! So just gun a base of head, <laughs> cock hammer. Yeah. Hasta la vista, baby. Not ones, but those are definitely two successes. Two successes, cool. Um, we'll deal with that in a second. Um, Abby and Zheng Yi, you two have exited the Nazi uh, sub base um, and you're moving up this canyon and give me stealth checks again. Yeah, I think we should keep doing stealth checks just to make sure we're not, you know, getting, uh, yes, getting exactly. hit by shrapnel. Well, that hasn't happened just yet. Eh, that does not comfort me that you add the yet. Okay, that's a six and a two. So that's three successes for me. Three successes. I have a six and a one. Okay, those are... Oh my god. <laughs> you both are good. So... You're actually moving your way up through the coral, and you can see what I described to Tessa, um, where you're moving up this canyon. It's kind of like all filled with like weird shapes of coral and things. Um, you can actually you too see the um, deep ones up on the ridge with like spears and guns and things. Um, uh, and then you actually catch up with uh, up to Wilhelm and his escort of the Red Widow in quotes. And um, as, just as you reach them, you hear a massive explosion um, happen behind you, which startles you for a moment, which causes Wilhelm and his flunkies to kind of turn your way. And um, they don't notice you, but they're looking back in that direction. Um, and that's when you see, uh, you hear another loud uh, bang and just a bullet goes straight through Wilhelm's face. Oh, Jesus! Oh Christ! What happened? <clears throat> Back... Should God save the queen? <laughs> Back to um, Bo and Captain. Uh, you you've just exploded everything in here. There's fires. There's alarms going off at this point. Um, maybe even some fire suppression systems of sprinklers and things. Um, what do you two do? Is there anything still alive? Like, I mean, other than us? yes, but they're definitely not paying attention to you. They realize yeah. that something's coming from the boat, but you've just laid waste to the docks. Um, and they're scrambling around trying to get to you, but that's probably not going to happen for a bit. Yeah. Okay. Um, they're, oh, they're trying to get to us. Yes. Well, That's cute. I'll slap another magazine into the 20 millimeter. Or like, I just wheel it down to point at them. You sure you want this? I'll say that you're choosing violence and you fire that deck gun against the docks, which just causes another huge explosion. Kind really? of sends the um, ship back away from the docks, um, almost snapping its moorings. And... Um, yeah, you have completely violenced this uh, sub base. Um, yeah, I don't know what they thought was going to happen, Bo. <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to need a moment to process this. I've never seen that much uh, death and destruction unleashed at once. Um, that was like 20 seconds in... That Not man even. got that man got ripped apart and had literally half. Um, yeah, though this is gonna haunt me for the rest of my life. Actually, uh, buddy, that was four seconds. <laughs> I counted. Uh huh. Seemed longer when you just see blood splattering against walls. Uh, are uh, are the uh, engines still running on the ship? Uh, no, they were off because it's docked. Uh, I'm gonna go uh, get the ship ship shape. Uh, to make a exit, um, hopefully uh, 
the rest of our friends will rendezvous back here. Uh, then we can uh, get the hell out of Dodge, uh, use our nifty little radio, call in a, a, a strike on this little here base, and uh, we can be chugging along in the Mediterranean uh, before uh, anyone's the wiser. Nice. All right. So apparently it's ladies' night on the Nazi secret aisle. Um, uh, ladies, you all just, uh, Tessa, you just blew Wilhelm's head off, which, um, the six soldiers around you are just shocked at. Um, what do you do? Uh, I... Abby, you got one of them, uh, them bombs so we can get our friend back? <laughs> um... I start running and I just start stabbing. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, uh-huh. So she starts stabbing. Tessa, what do you do? Uh, is there another ranked soldier next to me? No, or he was the are only they all one. Just... They're all, oh. At this point, they're all just uh, fish, half fish soldiers. All right. I guess um, I'm going to start, I guess, backpedaling a little bit and maybe try to shoot because I'm. I I am unfamiliar with military standard weaponry, but I'm assuming this is only a six shooter. Uh, you probably, probably pulled up a Luger, probably a which, yeah, yeah, which doesn't have too many bullets in it. No, I also okay. have a tendency to just randomly go off. Yeah, that's they're true. they're not super reliable. They're so, uh, that's nine plus one in the chamber, so actually more than a, you would have an American pistol, but. Okay, um, I'm going to attempt to maybe, sh- like, I'm, I want to backpedal to get away from these guys and maybe in my backpedaling attempt to shoot another one. Okay, we'll do that here in a second. Jingyi, what do you do? What's your plan? Um, I guess Kung Fu. Okay, um, so Tessa, give me a coordination in fighting. Um uh, Jingyi, give me a agility in fighting, and Abby, give me an agility in fighting. That is three successes. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is one success. Okay. Abby, what'd you get? Yeah, seven and one. Okay. So, within the six seconds of a typical sort of tabletop round um tessa like shocked that she actually killed uh wilhelm just immediately uh swivels to uh the person next to them and just blows their head off which then in comes abby just cutting people's ankles and as well as uh jing yi just kung fuing the crap out of people within a few moments the six soldiers that were completely you know thought they had the world at its knees are now all dead around you. And um, you can see there's actually like massive explosions coming from the secret uh, sub base and fires. And uh, the deep ones on the ridge are absolutely agitated at this point. And they start running uh, further in, into the, into the Island. Did we just let them run? Like, <clears throat> well, they're kind of out of your reach. They're kind of out of your sight at this point. You got and, guns, and you know that they were uh, taking you up to the ritual site, uh, Tessa. I think we should um, regroup and then head further in. Okay. Um, Bo and Smith, uh, what did the the two of you were trying to? prep this particular vessel for escape or um, one of the other ones that might be in the harbor? If there's a faster boat, we should prep it for escape. This boat will get sunk by like, we're, this is a German frigate. Like, they're gonna destroy us if they see Yeah, this there's, a, there's like a couple of motor boats, for lack of a better uh, military term, uh, docked as well, um, that haven't been obliterated by your violence. Okay, perfect. Let's pack um, that bad boy to work and then maybe scuttle this guy. I don't know. I feel like we take this one just because it has better... It's going to have a better radio. It's going to have a way to defend ourselves in case anything chases after us. I mean, we just radio, you know, fr- friendly boat, friendly boat, friendly boat. Yeah, I guess that... Yeah, that you're right. You're right. Let's... Yeah. 
Okay. Let's do that. Yeah. Then. I, yeah. I said we prepped this one. So yeah, I'm going to do everything necessary to, to get the engines back on, make sure everything's working correctly. Um, et cetera, et cetera. As far as you can tell, your destruction has not done anything terrible to the, to the boat to make it unseaworthy. So you're pretty All sure right. if you can make it back to the ship between, uh, the, your group, you could probably get this thing at least out of Harbor and uh okay. heading in a direction all right once everything looks good from the like the captain's deck uh i'm just gonna yell at uh the captain to you know make sure nobody gets on obviously and then I'll, cause i'm gonna go run down to engineering to just make Copy sure that. That everything's good down there and also that we're not taking on any water just in uh, case yeah. you know, some some shrapnel hit the boat or something the uh the ship seems pretty seaworthy gm's not gonna fuck you okay Sounds good. Yeah, and we were firing with a 20 mil. A 20 mil is not going to scratch the paint on the armor of a World War II era battle uh, or cruiser, even. So, like, you're good. Do you want to stay on the boat or do you want to go after your friends? I'm staying on the boat. You're staying on the boat. Okay. I'm absolutely uh, staying on the boat. Captain? Um, well, he told me to uh, make sure nobody gets up here, but it doesn't look like anybody else is left. Uh, yeah, moving. like you've actually, you've, sort of snapped a few moorings where like they would have there's more concerns to take care of because this entire thing is just sort of on fire and melting down at this point um you've caused quite a mess that they kind of have to deal with before they deal with two two randos on a boat at this point so you're think you're pretty safe for the moment okay maybe we should i should try and rendezvous with the others it's up to you um, I I'll think just, that's I'll just, do. I'll just cock Samantha. Be like, I'll keep the boat clear. Okay. Yeah, I don't think any of them are coming on this thing. They're trying to keep the fire from spreading even further than it has. Cool, cool. Um, so, Captain, you uh, make your way through the burning inferno that is the docks, and um, you meet up with uh, Tessa, Abby, and Jingyi up in the canyon, and. Uh, yeah, what do you do? Uh, Boat's clear. We got a way out if we need it. Wonderful. Is the radio still operating? Because I think we need to... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Hi, I'm sleep deprived. Call for um, support. Air, air strike. On, Which you think you uh, did already. So you think you're good there. Oh, okay. Okay, so there will be P-47s there will, coming in. Okay. We need, though, what we need to do, though, is those deep ones, they're moving deeper inland. We, we need to. there's an occult site. Are we sure we want to go confront them on their base? If they, if the airstrikes don't get it, we want to be there to finish the job. Right. We need to move. So the, um, the sky is starting to grow unusually dark um, in this twilight hour. The, the pink sun sky is starting to turn purple and blue and then there's an eerie rumbling of thunder in the sky yeah let's get moving inland get the fuck out of here <laughs> boat you start to hear all this happen here. as you're standing there on the boat uh sorry kitty what were you saying oh abby got the fuck up out of there <laughs> okay uh Bo, you're still on the boat and you start hearing like thunder um, oh, you kind of look outside and the seas are looking real choppy. How far away is everyone from me? Not far. You could easily make it up to him if you wanted to. I just look like I just kind of like caress the 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 wheel. Just like <sighs> next time. And then I'll get off the and go over to the rest of my friends. Okay. So you all meet up. Uh, you all make your way up the canyon. It's now just pelting rain. Um, lightning is striking all over. There's thunder rumbling like it's uh, right next to you. Um, and you come up over this ridge to this high cliff overlooking the sea where down below are like, it's that kind of that whole scene from Raiders of the Lost Ark where there's just a bunch of soldiers, a lot of deep ones. Um, there's cameras, there's lights shining at this big, um, dais, uh, when then there's this sort of like steampunkish device at the center of this pedestal where, um, at that point 
you can see there's something contained within it's glowing it's pulsing and um there's this lightning strike down at the center of uh just beyond it into the water and then another and then another and then you hear this monstrous roar and uh suddenly like this giant tentacle shoots up out of the water and over and slams down onto the cliff it actually kills a few of the the nazis in the deep ones um as this giant squid like beast pulls itself up to the cliffside and kind of looks around and um everybody real quick give me um will and resilience rolls oh boy Oh. Well, that's a five and a ten. So two successes. Okay, good. No successes. Let's no see. successes. Ooh. One success. Is... One success, okay. That is a seven and a one, so technically two successes. Uh ah, damn. Yeah. Uh, nice. Kitty? One success. One success. Um, cool. So Bo, you regret ever leaving that boat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you see 100 eyes with 100 tentacles with 100 mouths with 100 tusks with 100 claws with 100 um uh spikes and teeth and you instantly just sort of like freeze up and all you can think about is like back in the bayou in Florida on the panhandle just you know being awesome blowing up bottle caps and water on, on on the fishing boat um that's where you are right now as um you are absolutely terrified and take four stress and you're just stunned for a moment all right uh anybody who rolled one success takes two stress and um but you're fine and if you got two successes you take one stress and you realize that you are looking on to something horrible and terrible. Um, you can, you see what you think now is Strucker down below in like some like weird Cthulhu esque robes. And he's barking up to the creature itself. Um, Tessa, give me an occultish roll, occult and uh, uh, perception or not wrong word. Um, cult in insight. Do I have a line of sight on this guy? Like, can I just pop him? Oh my god! <laughs> well, let, I mean, it's not a bad idea. We'll oh let Tessa gosh. figure things out. First yeah, of course. I'll let you. Uh, like, I might just we'll shoot have him right make here. Their decisions like, on what they want to do. It's... I don't know what's going on. I don't know if my dice just know this is the season finale, but I have two successes with a one. Wow. Cool. Okay. Yeah. So it all starts to click to you being the occultist. Um, whatever the Red Widow was, you're not sure, but you know that you had spells to bind an interdimensional entity to Earth. So that's probably somewhere in the ballpark of what they were. Um, and that that thing is some sort of Cthulhu-esque thing. And you realize that Strucker has no good bargaining chip. And he just woke something ancient from the ocean. He's Aww. fucked. Which He's... means that this thing's awake and no one has any way to control it. But we have the means to bind it again, though, right? You do, and you realize that um, you kind of survey the area, and there's some tablets down in that steampunk-like machine that might be key to all this. But you Oh, you mean like the tablets that we destroyed three episodes ago? Something like that. They had they had another set of tablets that were part hmm. of that whole uh, whole set there. Um, hmm. But uh, getting down there means getting within range of tentacles, so. Can I can I possibly use my telekinesis to pull them towards me? It's a really long distance at this point. Um, you'd you would to even begin to use telekinesis, you're still within tentacle range. I'll provide covering fire for you. So, 
Uh, Tessa, now that you know this, and I imagine you tell everybody the situation, mm -hmm. um, what is it that you want to try to coordinate and attempt to do? So, I mean, this thing's coming through. Is it completely through now? It rose from the ocean. Okay. So, so it's it was either down there or it opened a portal down there. You're not sure. Okay. So I'm wondering what would happen. So I don't know if we need to get too close to those tablets, but I think trying to take a pot shot towards that machine might be in our best interest. Okay. And then maybe try to get to the tablets in the meantime. If someone wants to uh, distract the big calamari, um, I can try. And if someone else wants to try to take a pot shot at the machine, I can try to get close enough to snatch the tablets. Okay, cool. Uh, Jing Yi, what is your part in this? What do you think you want to do? Uh, okay, so we have a giant freak of nature uh, coming from the ocean. Um, and so we need some way to quell it. Could I potentially try to soothe it by doing the little fountain thing? I know it's on a small scale, but maybe if I do it to the or ocean. then we'll have to either we'll have to deal with a horny eldritch being. Okay, uh, no, he so, will be horny. He will be soothed because that's what the fountain. Well, it kind of it kind of I don't know. It's complicated, but uh, I don't know. It's better than angry. Okay, I'm gonna go with this thing is chaotic, eldritch, angry, hungry, and. It'll probably just eat the satyrs in the in the fountain, if anything. Uh, Chaotic hungry, my new D and D alignment. Okay, so I think instead, I'll. Are there still Nazi Nazi dudes? Yeah, they're currently getting um, slapped with tentacles and shit. <laughs> um, the it. Uh Okay, so, so they're, they're pretty well taken care of. All right, then I guess I'm going to go investigate what's going on with them slabs. I've, okay. I've got some occult knowledge. I can help Tessa out. <laughs> so you'll be going down with Tessa. Cool. Um, Captain, what is it you plan to do? Well, I was told to take a pot shot at that uh, device, so I'm going to pop that device. Okay, cool. Um, and uh, Abby. This thing doesn't have ankles, as far as you can oh, tell. Crap. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, two fives! <laughs> I rolled a hit, four successes. <laughs> Hold on to that. Um, cool, Abby. No ankles. What you do? I'm tickling Bo to to try <laughs> to cause a distraction. <laughs> Bo, you're terrified. <laughs> This you didn't sign up for this. Abby, give him emergency Necco wafers. I mean, to be fair, did any of us sign up for this? Necco wafers have been around since like pre Civil War, so yeah, there's. I slapped the shit out of him to get him to snap out of him. <laughs> Bo, you just got slapped across the face, and you kind of come to your senses, but you're still in a terrible place. What do you do? Just very slowly and methodically just like get down I'll lay it on the ground huddle my knees <laughs> start rocking <laughs> oh gosh yeah, I hope he's not in tentacle range but <laughs> I'm just doing the Charleston or something <laughs> right around him trying to cause a distraction as much as I don't want it to be the case if he <laughs> is in tentacle range he's kind of fucked <laughs> Bo is. that's my turn that, that's your turn all right Abby turn. Charleston the June bug the the uh fuck what's the name jitterbug any nothing Bo's gone we what have you got left Egon Bo has left the building <laughs> Uh, damn. I'm just going to start throwing grenades or something just... Okay. 
just try to get him to look at me. So we'll go backwards on this. Um, with you, um, give me a coordination and uh, engineering, actually, or fighting. Fighting will work. <laughs> I have a two and a one. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, Bo, you are fetal position. Um, Harry, you said you got four successes? Four fucking successes. Okay. We'll deal with that in a second. Zheng Yi, um, give me a athletics and agility or coordination, whichever is better for you, because oh you're running through that. hell at this point. That is one success. One success? <laughs> okay. Um uh tessa give me the same thing athletics agility or coordination um yeah if there's like a mic on shinyi like the camera pan you just hear fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> she's just running through this bullshit it, i literally just had a dice roll up my sleeve it's amazing Really? Fuck you, Dice. <laughs> okay, better. I'm concerned. Okay. Um, sorry, Tessa, what'd you get? Two successes. Two successes. Okay. So um you just hear Abby screaming and tossing every single grenade that she has on her into the air, in around, explosions are happening, tentacle slams are happening debris and explosions are going on all around you and you're just you manage to find a pathway that takes you uh fairly close to the tablets um by this time shooker has been wrapped up in a tentacle head popped off body and mouth he's gone um oops uh um do, captain do, do. you are you you're like well bring out the you're just machine gunning this thing and it's annoyed at you it'll get to you in a second oh i thought i was shooting the uh, machine the, the steampunk looking machine oh you want to do that okay cool yeah that's what i was told to do so i'm doing that uh even more interesting cool we'll deal with that in a second um Zheng Yi, you are just fuck 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 explosions tentacles bodies gore all around you um <laughs> you actually like Something comes down next to you, throws you on one side, you slam into something, uh, you take three stress. Um, and you're there with Tessa, you're probably halfway to the tablets. Um, uh, Captain, you shoot at the steampunk like weird devices, um, which just causes massive explosions, which causes the, the creature to sort of rear back for a second but just even pisses it off even more and it knew where those bullets come from came from so yeah this is now time for what we call a a, a strategic a tactical retreat uh i need to relocate to a new firing position okay Did, weren't you mocking someone for making a tactical retreat their before? tactical retreat was running away this is a tactical tactical retreat. <laughs> okay so, as in if i don't do it i'll die so i'm gonna do it abby you're out of grenades what's your next option I'm grabbing Bo by the ankle and I'm just dragging his ass and we're just trying to find shelter. Okay. Um, you kind of pull yourselves back from the ridge a little bit. Um, Bo, still just fetal position? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I just like random words leave my mouth. Just yeah, like... you're just babbling. Not not even, you're actually speaking in tongues at this point. Uh, weird sort of nursery rhymes. You're just, you're gone. Um uh tessa you're close but not quite there what it, what's your next move am i close enough to reach them with telekinesis oh good point uh yes you might be able to all right let's try okay telekinesis in a second uh Jing Yi, you just got rocked uh you're kind of bleeding in a couple of places um your head's ringing uh what do you do I uh, gotta keep going with the mission. Okay. Heading towards the tablets. Heading towards the tablets. Got it. Um, and then uh, Smith, you said that you're moving. So Smith, 
tactics and um whatever actual attribute you want. I rolled roll a four that. and a fucking nine. Oh wow. Wow. Okay. Um, so that's three again. You ju- you immediately skedaddle. Abby and Bo have kind of pulled back. This tentacle just like reaches out across the the length of uh, the cliffside and slams down where you were, but you are long gone and you've kind of moved off to one side behind a new firing position. Um, you're good for now, um, Abby and Bo. You you're safe for the moment, and then um, Jingyi, you what do you want? Do you want to reach the tablets? Do you want to reach uh, Tessa? What, what, what do you want to do? Uh, I want to reach the tablets. Those those are my goal. Okay. Um, Give me an athletics and agility. Uh, not not loving that. <laughs> not loving that. <laughs> Let's see. Um, that's a twelve and a four. So that is that. I think if I remember. Is that one success at least? Uh, no, that's two successes. Two successes. Okay, you um. Again, just explosions going around. There's tentacles. You actually um, are within its presence enough to where you feel something like a. you just feel its presence. You feel its aura. Um, it causes you two more stress. Um, and Oh, I love this. And But you actually reach the tablets um, and the machinery all around it. And it was kind of locked into place. That's all gone. And the tablets um are free for you to secure um tessa now that you see uh jungi has actually reached the tablets did you want to change what you wanted to do yeah i think so um okay. is there any way i mean so jungi is ahead of me and she, and does does she have both tablets yeah uh it's just one huge chunk of rock sort of tablet okay. so um uh, almost like uh like you know Ten Commandments sort of like uh tablets um yeah. and uh, yeah she's got them so am am I able to make it to her to like transcribe yeah give me an athletics and agility to make it to her one success one success you take three stress um <sighs> and you're kind of rattled for the moment. As um, you're just, you get up there, you're shocked, like you're starting to feel like, obviously this isn't the safest place to be, but uh, mm-hmm. it's really not feeling like the safest place to be. So, um, <laughs> do we make good decisions now? <laughs> cool. Uh, Abby and Bo, just... you guys have been, you you pulled pulled back, uh, you're, you're away from the ridge, you can hear horrible noises, you can't see horrible noises anymore. What you do? If they're still down there, I'm gonna. This is. I'm just. I was just finding a new firing position. Like I will distract this thing again. All right, we'll get you in a second. Uh, Bo and uh. Oh, Bo Abby. and Abby. You said yeah. I don't know why my brain picked up. Sorry, that's my bad. I'll just kind of like look past Abby. Just be like, is it? Is it gone? I, I can still hear it. Um, I tell him that he's back home, <laughs> sitting on the porch. Um, okay. I tell him to, you know, go back to sleep, keep, take your nap. And I get Samantha and whatever tentacle is coming near us. Like I'm trying to shield him from it and I'm shooting it. Okay, cool. Um, uh, Smith, you said you were just going to open fire on it. Yeah, I'm trying to distract this thing as much as possible to buy time for my teammates. Okay, cool. Um, uh, wait, is there like any bigger flak guns? Like, is there like a fucking no? Flak there's no weaponry up here. Oh, it was shit. it's a ritual site. Um, uh, cool. So Jingyi... for once, the Germans not fortifying. Right. <laughs> well, they fortified below. They didn't know that they were going to be have you know sneaky sneaky on the ship. Um, so Tessa and Jingyi, you're reading these tablets. Weird pictogram language not even picking up what's going on um you're also right under this terrible beast um take two more stress uh what you do um oh sweet jesus uh oh yeah um 
Chingy, have you hit a stress threshold yet? Uh, let me let me double check that because I think I have. What are the thresholds? So when you take uh, it, uh, you should have when you take five or more stress in a round, or you actually have um, five or more stress in like one attack, or you uh, fill stress. your entire stress gauge. That's when you start taking injuries. Okay. <laughs> Um, so I have, I had six health remaining. How much health have I taken so far? Stress remaining? I think like five. Okay, so I'm at one right now. <laughs> I... Okay, so you're, you're, you're not injured just yet, but, uh... I'm not cool. injured just yet. Okay, cool. But I'm not feeling so high yet. No, you're, <laughs> you're... So... I'm not feeling my best. You're there <laughs> at the pedestal reading the, uh, looking at these tablets... What do the two of you want to do? I think we should grab them and get the fuck out of here. Get okay. going while the going's good. <sighs> Don't you think it will be angry if we grab? Okay, you know what? You know what? I'm just... Sh Shinya's just picking it up. <laughs> All right. Just hoping to the high heavens that by making contact with this thing, she isn't going to get mind yeeted into the ninth astral dimension. Wait, Fully you're... aware that she is going to get yeeted into the ninth astral you're... dimension, but... You're trying to make contact with it? No, just hoping that, like, by touching the stones. Oh, yeah, no, you actually laid contact hands on with it. In no, that that, that's not going on at the moment. So, the both of you lift up those tablets, you run, um, give me athletics and uh, athletics and brawn <laughs> as you're carrying some tablets. Oh, God. These, these stats aren't good for me. Oh, no, I'm afraid. <laughs> Uh, two successes. Wow, nice. I yes. <laughs> okay, that's two successes. Okay, <laughs> good. So you run, and you're both. You have to like sort of both on each side of these tablets. Just run. Explosions are happening around you. Tentacles slamming down around you. Um, very bad. Uh, Abby, you come out, uh, with Samantha and just like unloading every shotgun shell that you can, um, which you've actually divided its attention between you and the captain as the captain's over there just doing covering fire. Um, so like half of its hundred tentacles are going towards the captain. Half of its hundred tentacles are going towards, um, you, Abby, uh, give me, uh, survival and brawn or agility oh wow me a good brown. those are some very good rolls right there that's a four and a ten i have a one and a nine jesus christ all right um i imagine this three for you for, for me, yes. Yeah. And then, Harry, it sounds like you got two. Two for me. So you're unloading to the last round, to the last second, and you're able to duck away and uh, not get slaughtered by hundreds of tentacles coming down on top of you. Um, and uh, it rears back. It's yelling. It's screaming. It's roaring. Uh, there's just Nazis running around. What's left of them? Deep ones just screeching and, and jumping into the ocean. Um Oh, you're back in Louisiana, man. It's uh, pretty. There's really loud, like, gator roars for some reason. You're not sure what's going on. Or you're from Florida, actually. So, yeah, um, yeah just gator roars? That's weird. Like, you don't live on a gator farm. That's really strange. Mm. It's nighttime and it's raining. It really sucks. <laughs> well, I do remember I left that. Uh, I anchored the boat a little while back over there. So, I should go back to the boat and... Maybe my friends will come on a boat trip. Look, they'll go shrimp with me tonight or something. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the warship and attempt to get it, like, start leaving with it. Okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> uh, Tessa and Zhongyi, you get back to a safe position. Safe enough. It's not safe. Um, so, yeah. What do you do with those tablets? Uh... 
do you have any ideas? You are the academic. I'm good at doing surgery and giving people math. Um, I mean, I want to try to see if I can transcribe them so that I can figure out whether or not these are going to be, if we break them, if we're not just irrevocably like making this creature stuck here. How do we calm an eldritch being? There's no lullabies or instruments or... So you realize <laughs> um, the tablets more or less tell a story um, about ancient Cthulhu monsters and things under the sea. Um, there, It's more or less the tablets have power and you could utilize them as kind of like a focusing device. Um, you know some binding rituals just from having what you read. Um, you think you might be able to get it to sort of send this thing back to where it came from or send it back to the deep. You're not sure. Um, give me academia and in, in, in will. Okay. Um, can I, seeing that this is kind of an end all be all thing, can I use one of my, my boosts for this? Yes, you can spend a fortune and you can base, tell me what you want to have happen. What I want, I mean, oh, so I should ask because this is like our only fortune and, or it's not no, our No, you got fortune. three and it's one right, Is rolls. everyone okay with me spending a fortune? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah go for it. Yeah, we don't yeah, have okay. any. We don't um, have so I guess I want, I mean, yeah, yeah, TLDR, I want to bind the thing. I want to be able to to read this thing and be able to suppress uh, the Kentucky Fried Calamari to, <laughs> to, uh, to get it to go away. Um, yes. So you read the tablets, you know that you were able to unbind um, the Red Widow, so you think you can sort of reuse that to bind this thing. Um give me a just roll it and don't roll a 20 uh roll your academia and your will two successes hot damn two successes ah, ah. <laughs> um you feel yourself you kind of rise up you're speaking in some weird languages the tablets uh kind of float and glow around you um and you you start the winds the the rain the uh the uh lightning strikes it starts to you see runes start to form up and around it um and it slowly starts to get dragged back down to the ocean and it's at that point when you can hear like airplanes just o barely over the thunder and rolling and just bombs start raining upon it as these planes Woo! just come by and just yeah um sends it and then there's just this massive explosion, which kind of throws you all on your butts um, as just hundreds of bombs just land on it. And um, yeah, for a moment, the there's quiet. You hear like gore and just stuff sort of plopping, raining down instead of rain. It's not raining blood, weird blood. And um, the just wait, guys, they're going to come around with the rockets and the guns. <laughs> the um, the the sky is clear. Um, it's now night. You can see the starry sky above you and, uh, there's silence. Holy shit. Yeah. yeah. Holy yeah. shit. Thank fucking God for yeah. the air force. Shinny's just going to flop down next to Tessa and just be like, I am going to retire and I think I will buy myself a nice house, maybe open a tea store and Live an honest life. <clears throat> and and Tessa's just laughing and breathing heavily and <laughs> cannot wait to do this again. Nice. And you so guys, that airstrike couldn't have come at a better time because I just ran out of ammo. <clears throat> you hear you hear some like allied stuff over the radio and like you you can can kind of see some boats off in um along in the distance and coming up into the shore. Uh, Bo, you kind of feel, and you can see, and you hear the explosions, uh, and as you pull the boat out, um, you kind of radio, like, friendly, friendly, and because uh, there's a boat pulling up, and uh, you see, like, an American flag, 
and uh you see the planes fly over and just massive explosions and uh yeah you uh guys have defeated something horrible from the deep and um yeah that's where we'll conclude our story yes huzzah we did it <clears throat> and no one got eaten no one got eaten well, nobody who didn't deserve to get eaten. <laughs> yeah, nobody important. Eaten. Nobody. No important. people got eaten. No, 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 yeah. nobody of uh, 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 a of good any or value neutral. or moral consideration. <laughs> we yeah. all survived. We all made it. Nice. So cool. Yeah, that was uh, that was a like tongue Cthulhu with uh, horribleness. Yeah, Indeed. we did it together. I feel like so I've much taken fun. stress damage. <laughs> I gotta say, I am very relieved the Air Force showed up when it did. Yep, I figured uh, you called it in, so might as well use it to help you in the end. Very cool. So that was that was fun. I had fun. I like this game. I like killing Nazis. So yeah, it's fun. Hell yeah. <laughs> cool. So uh, as always, you can find us on the social media at Vorpal Tales. Check out our Patreon at patreoncom slash Tales. We are Vorpal Tales, and we play awesome adventures and terrifying tales almost twice every day of the week now. Uh, see our calendar that pops up on our show reels and on our website at VorpalTales.com and on our Twitch channel. Also, check out the pool list on our website. Friend of the show at Funky Thunder does his weekly review in no particular order of this week's latest comic releases. And please be sure to check out the shop links on the website. Vorpal Tales has created several great supplements to enhance your games. There's more in the works for all the systems that we play to make your tabletop experience more Vorpally. Also, we have merch. Um, if you wanted an apron to wear while you were exploding things from the deep to protect your nice clothes, you could get that. It'd be awesome. That'd be cool. Um, I have been at Space Lord PJs. Check out our Doodle website. Check out my Doodle website at cartoon.ninja, which I have not updated in a while. I suck. Um, everyone, plug your pluggables. Let the viewers know what show they can catch you next and any other cool things you're doing online. Hello, um, I'm Harry, aka Sleeper Cat on Twitter and all of that. Um, and you can find me uh, doing the Saratoga by Night podcast. Uh, that comes out every like Tuesday ish. Um, it's real good. Uh, it's also doing well, so it seems like you guys are listening. So yeah, keep it up. Also, I am going to be running a game uh, the Saturday before Thanksgiving, uh, and then for like ten weeks after that uh, of. Uh, on Vorpal Tales, a game of uh, Wrath and Glory, Warhammer 40k. Oh, cool. It's gonna be dope. Also, Last Fairy Tale finale tomorrow. Tune in. It'll be crazy. Yes, hello. I'm Jane, also known as the Confused Pro, who's been suffering from sleep deprivation for like two months now. Other than that, I've got commissions open. So, uh, yeah, if you want to give me like a little will to live, uh, consider commissioning me. Uh, you can find more information on the accounts mentioned previously. Other than that, uh, Last Fire Tale and, um, Podcasts, I'm on those. That's it. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> Hello, all. I am Patrick. You can find me on the internet at PatrickX underscore. Uh, the next time you'll see me will be for Friday for our 5e game in Scar Clan, Striker Genesis Season 2 of Flight of Whimsy. Uh, our players will be fighting a, uh, a, a Kraken and a floating island and an Abolith and some deep ones and some sharks inside of a tempest made whirlpool all while it's raining so yeah you should tune in and see how horribly it goes for them two of them are starting off the ship in the whirlpool wow it's gonna it's gonna be great uh other than that uh whirlpool tales will on november 6th will be doing a 24-hour stream for extra life as it is extra life day so you should come check it out donate to charity it all goes to wonderful cause uh, Extra Life is a fantastic charity that does amazing things for all the local hospitals in your area. Um, so come check it out. We'll be doing back to back to back to back live plays. Uh, one of them will be run by the fantastic Space Lord Pajamas, who will be doing a level 20 D&D 5e one shot. I am taking it's, Dungeons and Dragons literal. It's gonna get crazy. The dragon is a dungeon. 
What? <laughs> the dungeon is a dragon. The most insane thing I've ever heard, and it sounds like fun. Oh yeah, Harry and Jane will be with us too, so that should be fun. I am either going to be playing a level 20 artificer or a uh, level 20 multi-classed into literally everything. So that just would... a level 9 artificer, basically. That'd be kind of awesome. Yeah, it also sucks. Um, it's not fun to play, so I might just play just, the... Uh... Just be the, the fun one. <laughs> Cool. Uh, Selkie. Folks, I am Selkie. You can find me all over the internet as the Rebel Selkie, except for that one place. And boy, oh boy, when I find that person who you took my name, I will make sure to place a curse upon you where anytime you try to heat up food in the uh, microwave, it's either going to be completely frozen in the middle or completely fried on the outside. You're never going to be happy with how it turns out. Damn, Selkie, um, that's cool. That's cruel. Yeah. I, listen, I want my name back. Um, so this is my, obviously this is the ending of Act Tongue, but I'll be here same time, same place next week. Can I talk about the show we're doing next week? Yes, you can, if you want to. Uh, I will be playing an undisclosed character, uh, in the one ring, correct? That's the name of the, That's the name. Yep. we are doing the one ring. Um, and then the following week, um, Tuesday, I believe it's still black void. Still. Getting, yep. getting to a closing yeah yes we're pretty close um and i play with one of the lovely humans on this uh doing that uh and then thursday is still pathfinder second edition where you can watch me and my tea kettle do nonsense in a haunted house um and then i'm also actually doing the fundraiser as well i will be doing i will be doing a back-to-back because -back i will be in two of the games for the extra life fundraiser so you will see me from one to eight o'clock at night for that nice. please enjoy and uh also if you guys want to follow me outside of uh Borgo tales i am lead educator and small press curator of about gathering game which is a micro business up here in in buffalo follow me on insta cool giddy Hi everybody, I'm Kitty Kimchi. You can find me all over the internet at Yep, She's Blasian. And you can also catch me on um over at Vancouver by night for Toronto by Day Tales of the Rookery, where I'm playing your zookeeping puka. Nice. Cool. All right, and finally it's that time again. Vote for who your favorite player was tonight. Uh also to the end of the show real viewers can vote for their favorite cast. Um so we'll do, you can do one of two things. We are going to play Acton Cthulhu again. So if you want to uh, use your character again, you can add your votes as experience or you can carry it. If you're playing with us in the one ring, you can carry that over for a bonus uh, in your character creation uh, next week. So it's up to you. Uh, Harry, who did the most heroic thing tonight? Or what was the most heroic thing you saw? I gotta say, the most heroic thing, it's gotta go to, uh, it's gotta go to, uh, Selkie for charging headlong into, into the fray to try and, you know, quell this evil and learn how to stop it. Nice. It's not easy to do, but you did it. Yeah, uh, my vote also goes to, to Selkie as well. Oh, look at you. Uh, Selkie, who do you vote for? Uh, my vote actually goes to Kitty um, for picking up and defending her, her good Floridian friend and trying to cause as much trouble as, as she could under the circumstances. Nice. Cool. Uh, Kitty, who do you vote for? What was the Selkie. most heroic thing you saw? Oh, Selkie again. Oh, man. She was wow. a baddie throughout the whole game. <laughs> nice. Thank you. And, uh... Patty, who, who, oh, what was the most heroic thing you saw? Uh, uh, I personally experienced it getting dragged out of the fire. Uh, it goes to Kitty, Abby, my friend, my only person that ever made me feel welcome on the team. Uh, <laughs> definitely gets to go. <laughs> wow. Uh, wow. Awesome being excellent to each other, players. Well, Sucker Sex, you don't have to go home, but you can't keep playing this game tonight uh watch our verbal tales crew next wednesday night at 8 p.m where we start uh zero session for the one ring and check out all our other shows same verbal time same verbal tales stream channel remember to uh i remember to um I can't, I, remember to do something tolkieny and 
click that like and subscribe and uh for the love of the dice came on remember to Bye. forge that ring i wanted to say that but that just sounded too lame so you know. have your 11 z's and eat it too there you go have your 11 z's and eat it too don't Bye. be a fool of a tuck no be a fool of a tuck all right absolutely be a fool of a tuck <laughs>